Arthur Baturbiev defeats Alexander Vodzek in the 10th round, stopped him in the 10th, had him down three times, maybe even four, because I think one of them knockdowns wasn't actually called. So, good fight. This was a fight that I was looking forward to. I didn't really do any videos on it, but I was looking forward to it. If you go back on my channel, if you go back to one of the first videos I think I ever did, I think it was either the second or the third video, it was about Arthur Baturbiev facing Callum Johnson. And even back as far back as then, I said that I think Baturbiev is number one in the light heavyweight division. I couldn't really see anybody beating him at this moment in time anyway. Even then and even now. Now I know he had his little shake against Callum Johnson. But I thought people were kind of blowing that out of proportion. Because so many people were picking Vodzek going into this fight. Based on the fact that Baturbiev looked vulnerable against Callum Johnson. Callum Johnson we know, very good puncher. Very good puncher. Given the fact that he was able to drop Baturbiev and make it a hard fight, you know, I definitely saw that as, you know, kind of a hair raiser, an eyebrow raiser, because I thought, okay, Vodzek may have the power to hurt Baturbiev. I'm sure he does. But I also flash back to when Vodzek fought Tommy Carpensi. He's not a noted puncher, and he had Vodzek hurt badly in the first round of their fight. So I thought they were even Steven in terms of the punch resistance department and in the power department. I just felt that the size, the strength, the physicality of Arthur Baturbiev would see him home. And when I looked at Art Baturbiev's amateur record, because you can go on box rec and see his amateur record, but I don't know if that's 100%. I've seen his on Wikipedia. And obviously I've seen that he's beaten guys like Usek. He's had Usek down. He's fought guys like Jornier Dortikos. And he actually stopped him in a round. You can go on Wikipedia and see that. Jornier Dortikos has a very, very good chin. Very good chin. So for Baturbiev to be stopping him in a round in the amateurs shows the power that this man carries. Now, in this fight, I saw from the first round that Vodzek was employing a lot of moving. Like he was throwing some punches at Baturbiev, he was moving. Baturbiev came out very slow, looked a bit kind of flat-footed early on in the fight. But he fumbled Vodzek to the, to the ground in the end of the first round. And the referee actually called it a knockdown. The commission actually came in and overruled it. So the first round would have appeared to be 10-8 to Baturbiev, but then the knockdown was overruled. I gave it personally. To Vodzek. I thought Vodzek did enough to win the first round because Baturbiev didn't really do much. And it was kind of that pattern. I think Vodzek was ahead on two of the judges' scorecards and Baturbiev ahead in the other one going into the round where he stopped him, the 10th. Very clean fight. You know, there was a few moments where I think both guys felt each other's power. I don't think anybody was necessarily buzzed badly until late on in the fight and Vodzek. Even with Vodzek, I think it was more fatigue and I think he was more mentally beaten by Baturbiev than he was actually concussed because if you go and watch the knockdowns it very reminiscent to when Joshua was facing Ruiz in a sense that you know, I wasn't getting hit with the shots I don't know but if you go and watch the knockdowns they're not devastating knockdowns and he doesn't seem to be massively hurt he's just going down I think a mixture of fatigue I think he was mentally drained because I think he felt maybe I can't hurt this guy which I think that maybe was untrue because I think he could have heard Vods or he could have heard Baturbiev if he tried to go for it a little bit more. Um, and that was it really. I mean, Baturbiev was way stronger. I mean, you should have seen the clinches. Whenever they did get into a clinch or whenever it came close quarters, I mean, Baturbiev was just ragged on and Vodzek in there. Didn't even look close in terms of the physical strength. So Baturbiev, he's a beast in the light heavyweight division and I can't see anybody beating him. I can't see anybody up and coming beating him. I don't think Canelo, if he beats Kovalev, will fight Baturbiev, not a hope in hell. I don't think if Kovalev beats Canelo, he may fight Baturbiev, because that was a fight we've been talking about for years. But I think Baturbiev will go straight through him. I don't think Bivo has the size. The punching power, the punch power of Bivo is, is an interesting one, because people say he's not a puncher. But I think he can punch. I just think that he's very, you know... He just prefers the box, I think. It's just from what I see with Bivol, he just prefers the box. But I think Bivo has talked about going down to super middleweight. He will get ragdolled, I think, if he fights Baturbiev. And when you look at the contenders who were up and coming, well, I would say contenders, if you look at some of the other guys in the division, Badu Jack, I don't see that going well for Jack. Marcus Brown, he is chinny beyond belief. I'd say he'll get chinned early on, probably. And... The only other people you have are guys like Jan Pascal, who amazingly has a regular WBA title now, believe it or not. Jan Pascal at this stage in his career. So I can't imagine he's going to want any part of Baturbiev. Or maybe he will. 
maybe he'll want the payday. So Baturbiev definitely looking like number one at light heavyweight personally. I've had him number one for years. And yeah, I think that he is very, very impressive. I've been always loved watching Baturbiev. I think it's a shame that he had these promotional issues early on in his career because it meant that we only got to see him once a year, if even, when in actual fact, I think he's a fantastic fighter. I love seeing him in the ring. So that was my thoughts on this fight. Good fight. Decent little scrap to watch. Hope you enjoyed the fight. I'm going to be doing some videos later on this evening. Obviously, we have the Sky card on tonight. You know, just a few little thoughts while I have you here. I think that, because someone asked me my thoughts on it, I think that Cheeseman versus Fitzgerald, I think that Fitzgerald will win that fight on points. I think that Cheeseman has been massively overrated. And yeah, I think Fitzgerald will win that. But I'll talk about that later. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave your thoughts down below. And I will talk to you after.